and do MMA made easy, where we break hard techniques into easy chunks. Today we're going to be looking at a back step side kick fake into a twist kick. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're starting off with a back step, then my leg is going to come up, I'm going to push my hips out, like I'm going to throw the side kick, and then my knee turns and I flick out so that my, uh, my foot comes up. You'll notice that uh, my hands are going to start here, we're going to end up about here. The reason I do that is because I'm going to be turning my hips out in order to get maximum power on the twist kick, otherwise it just kind of flicks. Okay? So, it looks like... Like so. Um, the nice part about a uh, back step side kick, especially the way I'm setting it up here, where it looks like it's going to be coming low, um, is that people tend to kind of do this to uh, defend against it. Now sometimes they're only going to do it on one side, but that still might set you up nicely for the twist kick. Um, so yeah, it's, very, it's an interesting little setup, something I've been working on for a little bit. I'll just show you on the heavy bag. As soon as they react, that's when you would turn it into the kick. So you saw some of them, I'll throw it and kind of almost go right into it right away. Other times I'll let the foot come out a little and then slide and hit. In all cases, it's just I'm anticipating different levels uh, or different timings of their reactions. Um, after I'm hitting, I think it's a really good idea if you pivot off to the side. After a twist kick, there's that brief moment right there where you're worried about uh, a counter coming in. Now, if you hit them in the head, you might not have to worry about it, but if you see a counter coming, a, a good idea would be to pivot off and go to the side uh, and disengage. So, if you knock them out, you knock them out, but if not, uh, then you're ready. 